If you're familiar with CS2 skins, you'll be aware that this community is amazing at losing money in insanely stupid ways, often exactly the same ways again and again and again. For example, when it turned out that the M4A4 Griffin had stolen artwork, a lot of people bought it thinking it was going to go contraband, only to get wrecked when Valve just changed the artwork. At the time, that was pretty understandable. It wasn't that long ago that the how had gone contraband. But the problem is, people kept on making the same mistake. Just look at what happened to the Doodle Lore and the Temaku when it turned out they had stolen artwork. And in this video, we're going to be checking out the latest example of this compulsive money destroying shit happening in the community, as well as looking at the entire stupid story of how we even got to this point in the first place. It's a pretty crazy one, so let's get into things. Now, this video is brought to you by Skimport, the easy to use skins marketplace where you can sell your skins for real cash. Skimport has a huge range of skins, over 1.5 million of them, at prices miles better than the Steam market. And not only is it much better value, but there are zero hidden fees if you're a buyer. If you see a skin for $100, you're going to be paying $100 for it, and that's it. If you're a seller, payouts are sent directly to you in your local currency, and a ton of countries are supported. Fees range from 12% to 6% on high value items, and only 2% on private listings, making it a fantastic middleman service as well. And it's also safe. They've been operating for years, and they've got a 4.9 star Trustpilot rating. It's a great site, check it out, link is in the description. So. There's a sticker capsule in Seas 2 called the Ambush Sticker Capsule. You've probably completely forgotten it exists, but it was released in February this year. And the capsule contained a moderately well-received sticker called the Loving Eyes. Now, this sticker may just seem like the latest addition to this game's growing collection of weed designs, but the truth is that this thing's anime facade was actually hiding a dark secret. Allegedly, it was fucking stolen. It wasn't the most obvious plagiarism ever, and it wasn't immediately spotted by the community, but in mid-July 2024, a Counter-Strike workshopper called Quizka managed to track down the source. It turned out these loving eyes had been gouged out of a piece of artwork made by a Japanese artist back in 2021. A quick comparison shows that the eye has been traced and then rotated slightly and copied to the other side, which is very unusual. A normal artist would draw both eyes. And regardless of what you might personally think of this, Valve has made their position on traced artwork pretty clear, and it appears this thing has broken the rules. Now, in response to the news that this sticker might be stolen, CS players immediately did the logical thing and forced up the sticker's price 250% because of course they did. There's many reasons why this was an extremely bad and dumb idea, but first and foremost, it wasn't even clear the sticker was going to be removed yet. Valve does not automatically remove stuff just because someone accuses it of having trace details. The Temaku, for example, appears to have multiple trace details, but the original artist couldn't be found and no DMCA was ever issued, so the skin was never changed. And it seemed like the same thing could happen here because the artist hadn't been active on Twitter in quite a while. However, within a day, they saw it and gave a very confused response. And following some clarification from the community, they quickly filed a DMCA against the offending skin. And with the yellow text of death hanging over the sticker in the Steam Workshop, people started looking for a response from the plagiarist. And as it turned out, They'd actually been there the entire time. You see, the Loving Eye sticker actually has two different artists. One of them, Snail NZ, has been completely silent and hasn't said a thing. But the other, Sakeka, immediately jumped into the trenches to start finding it out in the Twitter replies. And with his initial tweets getting completely ignored, he decided to take a slightly different approach and sent a demented sounding email basically threatening the original artist. This was not particularly well received by the community and Saseka didn't help himself with multiple aggressive sounding follow up tweets either, not to mention a hilarious retweet where he compared himself to an anti-hero being betrayed as a villain. There was quite a bit of mockery, but at this stage, 
some people were starting to realize that Saseka seemed a bit confused. He didn't speak English and there clearly were some translation issues here. And this led to Gabe Follower intervening to try and resolve some of the confusion. And after speaking to Sakeka and trying to bridge the language gap, some interesting information came out. Apparently, the Solon artwork was made by Snail. Sakeka was simply the guy who uploaded it. Sakeka also apparently misunderstood a lot of the DMCA due to the language barrier and was given some god awful advice by another Russian creator about how to deal with it, probably explaining why he was such a dick about things in the DMs. And many people were skeptical of his story. After all, the source for all of this is Sakeka himself, and he hadn't exactly covered himself in glory up until this point. But he did tell Gay Follower he would withdraw his counter notification and let the sticker get removed. And if he genuinely does this, it may be that he's being honest with us after all. Time will tell. But what is 100% clear is that while all this drama is going on, Counter-Strike players have been losing money on this sticker. Lots and lots and lots of money. So look, there's two options at this stage. The sticker may get changed by Valve or it might not get changed by Valve. But what is 100% certain is that this thing is not going contraband no matter what. It started at $4 and it is going to end up at $4 once this is all over. And Everyone who's bought it at inflated prices is going to lose money. But this has not stopped a negative IQ hype from happening. And how much money exactly are we talking about? Well, the people buying here for $15 are going to be losing at least $11 per sticker. And going off 384 sales, that's probably over $3,000 lost in a single hour. And looking at things a bit more generally, we can go on Steam Analyst to see the total volumes, which are these things down here. And basically there's an average of about 600 stickers being sold per day at an average loss of $6 per sticker. So that's an average loss of about $3,600 per day on the Steam market. And there's also tons of these stickers being sold at totally retarded prices on Chinese marketplaces as well. We don't have the sales volumes, but I mean, fucking look at this. People are paying up to $18 for the sticker. There's definitely thousands more dollars being lost here each day as well. And altogether, we are looking at a sustained money burning party of epic proportions. I have no idea who is buying these things, but everyone who has done it really should know better. And if there is one thing I want to say to close out this video is that at some point, there will be another case of stolen artwork and there will be another stupid hype where people buy that item just to lose money. It is an inevitability. People just can't stop doing it, but please don't be one of those people. Nothing is ever going contraband ever again. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your guts. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.